This thing's got the most wicked horn. Who wants to hear my horn? When was the last time you walked up to your motorcycle, you got all your gear on, you put your helmet on, you put your gloves on, you turn the key, you hit the button, and nothing happens? It sucked, right? This is a battery tracker by the same guys that make anti-gravity batteries. So the way this thing works is you download the software on your phone. Obviously, it just is a, a Bluetooth emitter that's connected to your battery, and it's constantly diagnosing your battery and what's going on. The software is really smart, too. What's kick-ass about the software is, A, you've got this live readout that shows you exactly what's happening uh, with the battery in its current state. And then you can go into the software really simply. There's not a lot of steps involved, and it will run a cranking voltage test. So we rigged this up in my car here to sh kind of show you guys uh, actively the monitoring. The point is we're going to do this on a motorcycle and we're doing it in my car to show you how it works. So right now everything's off, resting battery voltage. This is connected through Bluetooth. It's 93%. Cranking voltage is okay. And now we're charging 13.6. Let's go for a quick drive on the block. Show what it does while moving. Nice. There we go. 100%. Battery's charged at 100% already. That means my charging system is good. Then you go over to charge test. And this is something that allows you to check the charging system at a low RPM. It tells you very specifically, turn your headlights on, turn off all your AC and all your other stuff, start the car, let it idle, and hit start testing. And then it tests to tell you just how much output you're getting from your charging system. So it says turn it on. Low RPM charge test, hit start testing. And now it wants me to give it high RPM. It says increase to 2500 RPM. So I'm at 2500 RPM, it's charging voltage and idle speed was 13.6. It's charging voltage and high RPM was 13.6. So charging system, okay. We're now using this on our bikes in the shop as a mechanic piece. And by that I mean, yeah, we can test the charging system on a motorcycle while it's sitting there. You can hook up your leads to the, to the battery, you can rev the engine, and it will tell you what the charging system is charging to. But what you can't do that way is ride on the motorcycle and easily check the charging system while it's under load, while it's fully heated up, while it's riding around. This allows you to do that. Started, 12.9. Get a little charge there as I rev it up. Let's go outside. While I'm riding, I can look straight down and see exactly what's on the screen. In this instance, if I wasn't getting a good charge, it'd be super obvious. Wheelies don't help at all, but they do move the camera. What we've done is we now have one of these phone holders that we also sell. That we put together in a kit for the shop. So we've got two battery monitors, one that's for the lithium iron batteries and one that's for the lead acid batteries that we leave in that kit along with the phone holder so they can strap it to the dash of whatever bike they're working on, take it on a long test ride even and watch it all day long. Make sure it does what it's supposed to do. If you've got a bad red rack, you can get an overcharge or an undercharge. If you've got a bad alternator or a generator depending on the bikes we're working on, it should be robust enough to test whatever you're working on. And then you can go into the settings part of this, of this software and it will allow you to toggle a few things. A, a daily power notification, and that is that once a day, at whatever time you'd like for it to do it, it will tell you the power on your battery. You can have it alert you when there's an abnormal cranking notification. A power alarm that allows you to toggle where you'd like for it to alert you on your phone that you have a power issue with the battery, and this could be just a motorcycle that's sitting downstairs in your garage. Keep in mind, this is only going to work when your phone is within Bluetooth range of the battery. So this thing's not going to alert you via Wi-Fi. It's going to only work when you're near it. That could be a limitation for some of you guys, but for most of us, we're around our toys all the time. Another cool feature of this software is that it will track and graph what's going on with your battery. Now, if you want to be super, super nerdy, you can get into the system here and it will show you straight up a graph with dates, it checks your power every two minutes on your battery and logs that into a graph. So that you'll be able to say, here's the point where my battery went dead. I don't know what this is gonna be good for, but it sure is cool to be able to look back in time and understand day by day 
exactly what's going on the previous 31 days. This thing will work on lithium iron batteries, uh, lithium polymer batteries, uh, gel batteries, lead acid batteries. It'll work on all batteries. This thing's going to change your world when it comes to motorcycles and cars. All right, so anyway, there we go. That's the wireless battery monitor by anti-gravity that we're selling. I think for the money, this thing's a damn bargain.